Today's tutorial is going to be how I got these beautiful bombshell bedroom curls for my video vixen shoot. How I went from this to this. The first thing that I would like to say is that do not throw out your wigs. I know it may sound so crazy or maybe you've heard of this before, but using your wigs for other styles and tutorials is the best way to learn. But not only that, it's the best way to save money and we're all about saving money in 2023. So the first thing I'm doing is combing out all the hair because this hair needs to be brushed all the way out. It has been in one of my clear bags for too long and now I'm like, it needs to be combed before I do anything to it. So I'm just starting from top, or it's not top from bottom, but bottom to top and preparing it for the hot water. So next I go and I dump it in the hot water. I use boiling hot water and I use a silicone mix in order to just get it, revive it back to its natural state. So here I am stirring it in together and it turned out to look like this. So now that the hair looks like this afterwards, you can literally see how much of a difference it is and now i'm just measuring it on my head because mind you i had to do this all in a matter of a night and the same day so i'm just combing it out and making sure i'm doing the middle part i actually ended up going with a side part because of how much volume was in the hair but you can do a middle part i just feel like this is so much easier when you're about to style hair to just do the styling beforehand so now i'm using a flat iron and i'm about to go in and just flat iron the top don't do what i did at first because at first i kind of just didn't really care and i was just like oh i'm just gonna get through it then i went back and i was like no i gotta do this for real so i brushed it out with a comb literally i had a be for real moment so i decided to brush it all out and then after i finished brushing it out then i went back in with the flat iron this part i did start at the top first but i still don't recommend that Although this time I kind of knew where I was going and knew I didn't really have that many knots. But you can see afterwards, like look at the difference in how the hair is actually getting flat. And again, I went with the side part at the end, but I was feeling it. Y'all, I use an old 90s tool and I'm very proud of myself because honey, I for the longest time did not know how to use this, but this made me feel like a real professional and honestly, they're cheaper to get at the beauty supply store than getting a long curl and the curls last way longer. One thing I will say to do is to test the strip of hair before deciding to do any of the other hair. And another thing is you can use a towel to make sure that your curling iron is clean because you don't want to damage your hair by the heat being too high, but you also don't want to have the heat too low so just keep that in mind before you really start getting into curling so this is when i thought i was going to be using this i was like oh i'm gonna have to use this because the curls won't last but i wasn't thinking about using my curling iron at this point i was still like in my wand curl era phase so i'm like not knowing that these curls are gonna last way longer than a wand curl so now I just continue curling out the pieces, which was actually very time consuming, so I don't recommend this. But if you have the time, you can totally do this. But it, I'm telling you, it didn't make a difference. After that, I went speed and brushed through this process because I didn't have any more time. And I just saw me recurling some of the pieces so that they could all match. But I literally loved the finished results. And voila, we are all done. And just look how bouncy and beautiful those curls are. So next is time to install. So the first thing I did was I decided to do the stocking cap method because this time I'm like, you know what? I want my hair to be on my head because I knew that I was gonna have to dance today. And here's a tip for anybody that, even if you don't sweat a lot, I still recommend you do this. But if you know that you sweat, just lay the wig down all the way. I know that we like to use God to be to lay down our wigs. I mean, I am a literal prime example of that. But when you don't have time to do a retouch up, you just need something that's going to help you go fast. And so I'm going to list the products that I use down below because honestly, I can't remember. But literally, it's a sequence of just going back and forth, back and forth with 
the blow dryer and the spray on so now i'm just cutting off all the additional pieces and just trying to make sure that i have my hair and lining mapped out because another thing that has happened in the past is that my stocking cap will be too long and then i'm having the issue of not being able to put my wig on all the way down so those metal clips that I put in my hair are literally lifesavers because they just take away all the flyaways so that I can measure. And as you see, like, I would have made the mistake of having two long sides. Guys, do not skip this step. I had before and I really regretted that. So it's just better to do the work to begin with instead of having to wait and do the work later. But as you can see, now I'm taking my glue and I'm putting that on a rat tail comb and just smoothing it over my head i have seen Aaliyah j do this as well but she uses a toothpick or not a toothpick but a what is it called i'm gonna link it down because i can literally cannot remember but i went and smoothed it out all over my head i just wanted to get a clear even coat and i actually only did this one time because i was kind of in a hurry but also i didn't expect to have this hair on for that long the only time that I'm ever going to have two or three coats on is if I know I'm about to go on a vacation and I don't want my wig to come up. Other than that, I am going to only do one coat. One thing that I will say though is that you want to make sure your hair is not on the glue because it just takes so much longer for it to come out if you put glue like this heavy glue on your hair. So now again, I'm going back and forth with the blow dryer, making sure everything is taken care of. And yeah, so. So after that, I'm just going in again and I'm now measuring it for my head just to make sure everything's good. Getting those flyaways away because those flyaways are literally going to live your lace. So I just had to make sure everything was good, especially when you're reinstalling wigs. This is a very important step so i'm clearly watching something i was probably watching glamazante i love her but yeah now i'm just gonna continue laying it down on my head typically what i do is i like to lay each section down if it's a new install but since it was an older install i just kind of laid everything down at the same time and at this time i was kind of running out of time so i was trying to hurry up but at the same time still have a clean install so as you see like i'm combing out any of the flyaways because i really you just don't want flyaways to be in your hair because if you wanted to do a high ponytail or like a half up half down or you know two ponytails it would just look really bad and i also wanted to use that hair as edges so it's just it worked out for the best when you take the time to get any flyaways out of your glue and out of your lace so after that i'm just going to go ahead and wrap my head and i just use an elastic band so that typically that elastic band is used for like when you want your weight to be tightened so you sew an elastic band on i like using elastic bands to wrap my hair down when i have a lace like this when i'm trying to glue it on and then i just use two wraps after that boom this is the finished result. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are interested in this makeup look, I have that coming out next week. So thank you again. Bye. Whatever you were looking at last week was not nearly as attractive as me. You know it and I know it. So clearly your priorities are fucked up.